Castleberry ISD is investigating an incident between a teacher's aide and a student. That student, who is transgender, says that she was confronted after using the women's restroom. As if I go into the girls' restroom with bad intentions, and, and that's not the case at all. 16-year-old Ishi Valdez and her mother have spoken with the school district about the confrontation, and part of it was recorded on a friend's cell phone. Fox 4's Alex Boyer spoke with the mother. Alex is live tonight in Fort Worth. Alex. Heather, and the teacher's aide works for Castleberry ISD, but this incident happened at a college campus where the teacher's aide really had no say as to which bathroom the student could use. So the student and mom both believe that the aide was out of line, and tonight the school district is looking into it. I want to major in art. A 16 year old Ishi Valdez identifies as a transgender girl. I feel like the only thing that I've actually changed about my physical appearance is, I guess, my hair. These Instagram photos capture Valdez's outward transformation over the past two years. But for the Castleberry High School junior, who is biologically born a boy, inside, she's always felt like a girl. I wouldn't let someone's views on me change the way I live my life. Valdez is upset over the way she says she was treated by a teacher's aide who chaperones Valdez and other Castleberry students on a bus to Tarrant County College for class. In the women's bathroom, I do feel more comfortable. I never get a second look. But it was while walking out of the women's bathroom at TCC Wednesday that Valdez says the aide made an insensitive comment. She said, Ismael, don't start because I already have an issue with you using the women's restroom. The point is, is that this is the women's restroom and you're not a girl. And obvious, that like, it became very personal. Valdez says the aide told her she would be talking to the school principal about it. Valdez says another student who heard the heated exchange recorded only the tail end of the conversation. If you want to talk to Dr. Ellis about it, well then my mom's going to talk about it with you too. Fine. Then call her, please, because I'm so done with you already. Yeah, I'm done with you. Valdez says she reported the incident to an assistant principal and then called her mom, who was upset with the aide's alleged remarks. She cannot just go around and judge them because she doesn't agree with it. I feel like if she goes into the men's restroom, I feel like it'll there's more of a poss possibility of somebody hurting her. And Rodriguez says that she and her daughter met with an HR representative here at the district today uh, for about 45 minutes so that Valdez uh, could give her side of the story. I also uh, spoke with the superintendent who uh, does tell me that he is aware of an incident but could not elaborate uh, due to privacy laws. Meanwhile, Valdez says that the teacher's aide has not been back on that school bus since the incident happened on Wednesday, but did say that she is still working working at the school. Heather. All right, Alex live tonight. Thank you.